We can do so many cool things with the design of a Squarespace website using the editor, but there's one thing we just can't do, and that is create a vertical line. I know it sounds so simple, right? Well, unfortunately, in Squarespace, we don't have that feature built into the program. But lucky for you, I know three different ways that we can use custom code to add that vertical line to our Squarespace website. I'm Becca Harpain from Inside the Square, and all the codes I'm about to share with you are listed underneath this video. But without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen to teach you exactly how to use them. Let's get started. Here we are inside Squarespace, and what we're going to talk about today is how to utilize a shape block to create this vertical line, how to add a line to list or people sections, how to make mobile look good, and then I have some tips for classic editor, which you'll use for blogs, events, and additional product info. Now here on my site, I actually have two shape blocks that you can't even see. I'm going to hop into edit mode really quickly to show you that this block is right here. Now if we click to edit this block, you'll see it's a shape block, and under the color option, I pulled this toggle all the way to the left so it's completely transparent. I wanted to make sure it was transparent so we could see the background behind the shape block, especially for this section right here where we have a background image. Again, if I click on this, you'll notice this is a shape block that is right here in the center of the page. Now I'll go ahead and select exit, and on the left-hand side of my screen, I'm going to navigate to pages, then I'll select custom code and custom CSS. If your menu looks a little bit different, just hit the forward slash key on your keyboard and search for CSS. This is the program search, and it'll take you right to your CSS panel. All right, now that we're here, let's add some code. I'll scroll down the page here just a little bit so we can see what happens. I'm going to say SQS shape, and then I'll open up a curly bracket and say border left 1px solid, and let's make it a dark gray. Now we have that vertical line on our Squarespace website. It's actually a border on the left-hand side of that shape block. That's what creates the vertical line. I want you to notice this vertical line goes from all the way at the top of the page section to all the way at the bottom. That's actually a setting that made that happen. Here inside Squarespace, we'll hop into edit mode and I'll select edit section so you can see I've toggled off fill screen. If you toggle this on, you're going to have a little padding at the top and the bottom of your page section. Do you see that dotted line? The vertical line can't stretch to the edge of the page section. So if you want to make sure it stretches edge to edge, top to bottom, make sure that you've toggled off fill screen. I also removed the gap. If we have a little bit of a gap here between our rows and columns, it won't be perfectly centered. Making sure that gap is removed is a great way to get that vertical line that goes through the entire section. Now, the shape block can be resized, so you've got some flexibility for the height. Adjust it to whatever size you need it to be. And again, if you want it to go all the way from the top to the bottom of the page section, I want you to make sure that you drag that content block the whole way there and select Edit Section and Toggle Off Fill Screen. Now, scrolling down here, we have a list section with these list items. Let's add vertical lines between each one of these. We'll select Save and Exit, and I'll scroll down on my screen so we can see it. There we go. Now, we'll add a new line of code, and we're going to say List Item, and we'll open up a curly bracket and say Border Left 1px Solid, and we'll go for that dark gray again. And now we have a vertical line in between each one of our list items. But do you see that line on the far left? We want to remove that. I want to make sure that we don't have a line there. It only needs to be between list items. That's the design style that I'm going for. So to make sure that that happens, we're going to say list item first of type, spelled correctly, there we go. And we'll go ahead and say border color transparent. Now the border's transparent on the left, but we're still going to see that solid border between each one of these list items. Definitely important stuff to know. Before we move on to talking about Classic Editor, let's talk about how to make sure mobile looks good. Because we've added the CSS, but if we take a look at the mobile version of our website, we've got lines on the left, and we've got shape blocks adding that line over here. If I hop into edit mode, I can actually adjust this shape block and pull it back over to the center, which could be a good technique, but if you don't need that vertical line on mobile, here's how we can remove it. We'll select save and exit, and at the very beginning of our code, we're going to use what's known as a media query. And again, you'll find this entire code underneath the video. 
I'm going to say at media screen and minimum width 641. Then I'm going to add a final curly bracket here at the very end. And if we scroll down, I want you to notice all of the lines have disappeared on this mobile device. But if we go back to desktop, all of the lines are still there. What I told the computer is that on any screen larger than 641 pixels in width, make sure we see this border in those specific spots. This 641 that means any screen smaller than this won't have the vertical line, and that's generally mobile devices that are going to be smaller than 640. So that's how we can make sure this only happens on desktop. Now let's go ahead and select Save, and we'll hop into a blog post to make some changes. Classic Editor is a little bit different. In the Not Linked section of my site, I've got a blog here. We can just hop right into this blog post that I've prepared with a few images. And if we hop into Edit Mode, I want you to see that we can't add a shape block to Classic Editor. It's not a feature that's available. So what we need to do is target an individual content block with its block ID. I know that sounds advanced. Stick with me here. Everything on a page in Squarespace gets a unique ID behind the scenes. There's a free Chrome extension that I use to grab this secret code. I'm going to click on the Chrome extension to turn it on, and here we go. I'm going to grab the block ID for this unique block of content. Again, this is a free Chrome extension I'm using. I'll link to it underneath this video. Let me turn the extension off. There we go. Now we're going to go back to our CSS panel. I'm just going to hit forward slash and find CSS. And what I want to do is list this block ID and then open up a curly bracket and say border right 1px solid and we'll make it that dark gray color again and now you can see i've added a vertical line on the right hand side of this text block this has created a vertical line here inside my blog but it's only going to show up for this unique text block so make sure that you've identified the right block id by using that chrome extension again every content block on a squarespace website gets a unique number assigned to it this Chrome extension displays that information so we can quickly grab it. I'll turn the extension off so we can see the full screen here. And that's what we used in our code. We said, hey, computer, if you see this content block right here, make sure it has a border on the right hand side. Now, I placed this code inside our main media query, so that means on the mobile version of our site, we're not going to see that line. Everything is going to look exactly the way it did before. There's no vertical line happening here. This is just on the desktop version of our site. I'll go ahead and select save and we'll call this tutorial good to go. All right, Squarespacer, you now have the power to add a vertical line to your website in three different unique ways. I'm Becca Harpain from Inside the Square, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know in the comments. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I'd love to help you make Squarespace uniquely yours. Thank you so much for watching. And most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. Good news, Squarespacer. We finally have an AI that truly understands Squarespace. Meet Custom Cody. Built specifically for Squarespace users and trained on every nuance of the program, Custom Cody is your AI-powered assistant for effortless expert-level Squarespace customization. Available now at customcody.com.